Hello, this is Scott Smith from Cobra Firing Systems, and today I wanted to do a little demonstration of a module repair. Now, <clears throat> it's not common for us to receive modules that have had any form of significant damage, and typically when there's any type of damage, we'll usually ship out a replacement, you know, uh, terminal Q-strip, which I've gone through in some previous demonstrations. But the other day I received a module, and I can promise to you that all I've done is actually just opened and looked into this box, so I can't even say for this demonstration whether this still works, although um, after just some basic inspection I think it's going to be just fine. And I wanted to walk through essentially <clears throat> the benefits of having a modularly built system versus a system that has lots of hand soldering and um, very kind of uh, non-modular approaches to their design. Now. This device right here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open this up, and it's actually in incredibly horrible condition now. The customer called me just basically asking to uh, purchase a new system because he had blown this up. Uh, I believe what they did is they filled a uh, mortar tube with kerosene. They had a, a salute that they had placed within there that wasn't the proper width of the sh uh, tube. It exploded prematurely. And this module is actually sitting right up next to the, uh, the tube itself, and it exploded uh, from the, this front angle. You can see the back angle. There's no type of debris here. Uh, the front here has all this kerosene debris, and um, you'll see it was actually so powerful that it blew the key switch completely through. None of the actual enclosure took much of the damage, but in the back, you can see here that this enclosure actually exploded all the stress fractures here. Um, the internal damage, it actually blew apart the, uh, the terminals back here. And in fact, even if you look inside here, you can see just the sheer uh, kind of impact that was, was taken within the system. Now, a lot of force created this. However, with our systems, these kind of act as protective shells, uh, protective armor to the system. And even though it took a significant beating, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to try to repair this unit. So the first thing I'm just going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unscrew these top six screws for the actual terminal strips themselves. Okay. And this one here is going to come right out. It's all messed up in there. And I'm going to replace take this one out now I've done this a couple times I had one company in Australia had a Shermer tank actually run over the module and I just sent them some parts and it got repaired I had another company with a system where the salute blew up in point-blank range and actually blew a, the side off the unit and I was able to fix that one just fine so you can clearly see that these these strips are totally damaged. These are going to get thrown away. Um, you can see here the internal components are, you know, the bat, the uh, enclosure, a lot of the battery clips, everything is blown apart. So all I'm going to do is, what's nice is I'm just going to simply unplug the major plug components here. Um, let's move this terminal strip. This is all obviously completely damaged. And get down to the bare board. And then what I'm going to do here is actually I'm just going to go ahead and just remove the board off the main unit. And what's nice is these boards are actually Humaseal coated. So it's a gel Humaseal coating that goes around the boards. And what that does is that it's normally meant to protect against long-term uh, exposure to moisture, salt air environments, things of that nature. Um, but this is just the this is basically the entire guts of the system. Now, even though it clearly took some some black uh, you know debris, um, the Humaseal coating should protect this just fine. So this board, you know, after initial inspection, nothing major. I mean, obviously it's it's got a little visual you know uh, coating on it, but it doesn't look like it's anything major. This is obviously completely this is gone. And that's whatever, we'll just replace that too, just to make it look a little pretty. And so I've got the main board. And what I'm going to do here is 
is we're just going to grab some new components. So I've got a new back enclosure, a new front enclosure, this key switch is attached, and you'll see them. This is a solid key switch, and this literally just blew a hole right through this thing, which is pretty incredible. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply, first thing I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to place my, uh, my actual keys within here. And all I do is you basically just kind of slot these guys right within here. And you'll see even here that the, um, the walls of these kind of create a moisture seal in here because these walls push right up against the faceplate. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and, and what's nice about this alignment, which works pretty well, is that it actually, these, these LEDs just simply fit right into the, the front. So there's actually these kind of um, cylindrical slots where the LEDs that you've got here, basically they're kind of used as a guide and it's really easy. It just falls right in there nicely. And then what I'm going to do here back here and we've got one last but not least this guy right here great now that I've got all those guys sitting in there go ahead and just kind of screw them in now it just creates a nice solid touch. Okay, now you'll see I've got my board in here set nicely. Everything's good. Now the next step I'm going to take here is I actually have the replacement Q-strips. <clears throat> and these are pretty easy to put in. Basically all you're going to do is just go ahead and you stick them into their slots. And they just kind of align right in. Okay, now I've got my Q strips in place, and those are in there tight. And once you actually put on this top part enclosure, it's going to actually press these the mounting bosses against these back six, which creates a really nice fit. Okay, now that I've done that, <clears throat> what I'm going to want to do is go ahead and I'm going to connect my new uh, key switch, which just pops right in there. I'm going to take my other side here, and I'm just going to go ahead and simply snap in my power adapter. I'm going to come over here and rotate this right around and I'm going to align these units together Okay, and I'm just going to flip this over on this end and let's go ahead and put in our six top terminal block screws. Now each of these screws does have, and you can kind of see here, it's a very small o-ring and that creates an additional kind of moisture protection in the system and all I do is I'm just going to simply put these six in here and go ahead and I'm going to screw these right in now what's kind of neat and actually one of the things I just realized here is that I completely <laughs> forgot to do the antenna. And this is what you get. <laughs> and so if I pull these out, and of course I made a silly move, take these back open, I'm going to go ahead here and I've got my antenna jumper. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to stick that right in there. And that antenna jumper is going to fit nicely. And normally I wouldn't have these wires in here, but I'm just going to wrap that right around. And that guy's just going to push down right within there. Okay. And I'll just kind of give that a nice little fit. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut this back up like I just did previously. Okay.
put my screws back in here. And we're just going to go ahead and lock these all down. Now you've done that. Then I'm just going to flip this guy back over. And we've got our four screws in the back that we're going to put in. I've just got a nice torque setting here. It creates a nice, good solid tightness. Okay. And our module combined with, let's go ahead and grab a battery door for this guy. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna slap a battery door on this bad boy. And this is kind of the moment of truth here. We're going to see if we've got now a completely functioning system. And you can see here, she looks, I mean, Jesus, thing's pretty much brand new. These are in there real solid, okay? Got our battery doors. You can see here we've got all of our Molex style connections in place. And basically, now we've got a customer that has paid a very small fraction of the price of having to repair the entire system which most systems would go through and went from this basically you know these are the kind of the least expensive parts of the system took the guts replacing here and I probably did this in a matter of I don't know I'm sure 10 minutes and could have done less if I made some less mistakes so anyway just want to give you guys a quick demonstration of that send this out to the customer and I think they'll be pretty happy Hope you enjoyed the video.